In the last lecture, we have a known function f of x that is known. And we are just trying to construct the best possible approximation of f within a finite dimensional space. So we first define a finite dimensional space. A finite dimensional space means a space of functions, a linear space of functions. And linear space means any linear combination of two functions in the space is still in the same space. So a finite dimensional space means any function, okay, um, any function g that can be represented as a linear combination. I goes from 1 to n. I call it gi of phi i of x. And uh, so that is for any g1, etc. to gn. So this is a space that is equivalent in some sense to the n-dimensional uh, space of real numbers. So for any combination of n real numbers, you can construct a unique element in the space by using these real numbers as linear combination coefficients on a particular set of bases. So here, phi i, i goes from 1 to n, is a basis. Right? So once we have that basis, we can construct the best approximation of, of f. Best approximation of f in x can be obtained by minimizing the distance f minus g such that g is in that space. So the distance in this case is the L2 distance where the distance, the square of the distance is defined as the integration from this domain. So we need to specify that f is in a particular domain. So at the L2 norm of the difference between two functions the, is the integral of the square of the function and then taking a square root. Now because of we are having a square here, the square root cancels and uh, the square of the L2 norm is simply the integral of the square of the function. Okay, and now we can further expand it to integration f minus integration of gi. So we are minimizing, now instead of g in x, we are minimizing gi. i goes from 1 to n. We are minimizing over these coefficients because we can represent g using linear combination of the basis. So gi phi i squared dx. And we turn that optimization problem into a set of linear equations. How do we turn that into a linear equations? We use perturbation analysis. Last lecture we perturbed this function g a little bit, right? And we derive the condition that the minimizer has to ensure that the distance between f and g is going to be orthogonal to any function in the same linear space, right? So through a perturbation of variational analysis, we found that in order to have this minimized, we must ensure that f minus g, which is the linear summation, has to be orthogonal to any function in the same space, which any function, of course, includes the basis. So this times any of the phi j's has to be equal to zero. And this turns into a linear equation a times g equal to b. Okay, so this is the procedure we used the last lecture to construct the best approximation of a known function. 
Of course, if we know what the function is, we we can basically use the analytical form without having to construct an approximation. So the real utility of this procedure, exactly the same procedure, is in solving differential equations, where we actually don't know the solution a priori. We only know the solution satisfy a certain differential equation. It turns out we can use the same procedure to solve differential equations.